Welcome to part two of the Zep Zebra rebuild. Now, originally these actually came with a option of a solar panel on top, which is something I definitely want to do. Um, somebody did paint this with something really thick. I've been kind of grinding on it and it's kind of like just melting into a big old glob. But uh, eventually I'll get that off so I can get this little bar welded on, which used to be a clothes hanger. Um, the solar panel is right over there. It's a 235 watt, 34 volt panel. And I did some, a little bit of cleaning up in there. Almost looks pretty presentable. Still have no seats. Um, I do need to clean up the inside a little bit more. Um, but I have given it a test drive. It does drive. Um, it's not extremely fast at the moment with the uh, smaller pack I have. But I do want to see what miles per hour I can get it up to. Um, I think I got it up to about 30 miles an hour, but it states that it can do, uh, I believe, 40. Um, you can see I have all the tailgates down. It's got three of them. <laughs> and, well, here's the other side. Now, if you want to see the battery, it's temporary, kind of thrown in there. Yeah, there it is. Just kind of tucked away in there. But it is only about 800 watts. So it's not a very big battery, but it's supposed to be capable of 600 amps. Um, I'd say it's more about 400 amps. It seemed to do all right. I do have two more over here that I can add to it. Each one is a 24S, basically a 72 volt. Um, I believe I'm gonna go to 120 volt on this guy to get the most amount of speed, efficiency, and power out of it. But for now, I'll probably put all these packs together and I'll eventually end up selling them when I put the bigger pack in them. Because these can be used in pretty much anything. Um, they would do an excellent job on, say, this guy. As one can do about 400 amps, there's pretty much no motor setup that you could put on here that it wouldn't be able to handle. This is just a stock setup with a very big lithium battery that I had installed. But uh, basically this guy's stock. I've been driving around for the past couple of days. It's pretty, pretty fun. A lot easier to walk back and forth a hundred times. I'd rather ride that thing back and forth. All right, so uh, here we go. All right, guys, I am back after putting the solar panel on. And it is on there. Basically, hit it. It's not moving. Hit that. If I shake it, I shake the whole truck. It's on there pretty good. So, got a metal strap, a couple eight millimeters, uh, zip screws in there. I've got three uh, zip screws under here. There's already three holes. I'm not sure if they pre-drill those from factory or if this one actually did have a solar panel option. Um, not sure. But uh, here's pretty much how I put it in. Get a little close up there. My beautiful welding job. Uh, just using a titanium flux welder. So I welded the tube directly to it, but then I put this other little bar here to kind of keep it from going forward. Going backwards though, it's got the, the tailgate to kind of stiffen that up. And I put that in perfect right spot where that tailgate just snugs up right up against it. Oh yeah. Love it. Works so well. Alright, and basically the positive negative wires will come down through here. And I'll have that all nice and hooked up. So, that's pretty much what it looks from this angle. So, that's all done. Um, I actually got the hood open. It was a little difficult. I had to climb underneath there and pry on it. It was all rusted up together. And here's the old, old one-wheeler. So, there is no power steering. It is just a, looks like just a rack and pinion, kind of like a golf cart setup. This thing only has 1,200 miles, so it's, everything's still pretty fresh. Like, look at these ball joints. Like, man. 2006, that thing's looking fresh. And we have a old uh, lead battery there. Washer fluid bottle. And over here we have the brake master booster. Uh, has two lines, one going to this front wheel and the other one going to the rear wheels. Uh, does look like it needs a little bit of fluid. And let me climb under here for a little bit. Show you what's underneath here. Come on camera. Focus, there we go. That. Is a disc brake, 
Got the piston, one piston caliper. Looks like a, does have like an ABS sensor or speed sensor that goes right in there. Um, and, surprisingly, it looks like the shock is adjustable. I'm seeing some threads in there. Sorry, the sun is really messing this up. Uh, here's a little shot underneath. Got a little bit of rust to still fix. Um, but overall, this thing is in pretty good shape. And uh, there's some tow hooks right there. It's pretty nice. Unfortunately, somebody looks like they used that as a tow hook. That is not a tow hook. Um, there's a little, actually, a frame support bar. This thing is a tank. Man, when I tell you this thing is made of solid metal, like, it is solid. But, uh, all right, so that's where we're at right now. The uh, only other thing that's really in there is the, uh, looks like the old fuse box. Pretty normal stuff. All right, well, carrying on. All right, so for me to get this energy out of this solar panel, which is a 235-watt panel, Open VOCs uh, about 36.9 volts, and it's just not going to be high enough to charge this battery. So, what I got going on is it goes through this guy here. This is called a step up DC to DC boost converter. So, what it's doing right now is taking the 31.6 volts coming in and converting it to 80 volts. And right now I'm only charging a one amp um, because it's the sun has kind of been cloudy. It's been going in and out. This thing doesn't really like chasing um, the highest amount of energy. Um, earlier I was getting 2.3 was about the max I was getting. So I was getting about 210 watts. 210 watts at a 235 watt panel. So that's pretty good. Um, it actually is going straight through here and then right into the BMS that you can kind of see there and into the battery. Now this thing is not set up to be a, in the rain or anything. I keep this thing tarped up, but this is all for testing um, until I get a bigger battery built for this guy. But as long as you have uh, one of these guys, you can charge this guy directly from the solar panel. I'm gonna try to turn it up just a hair. 1.1 amp, 1.2 amp, 1.3 amp, 1.4 amp, and then it backs off. So I mean, you gotta kinda like go back and then you can climb back up again. So right now I'm just keeping it at like, eh, 1.1 amp for now. It seems to be holding pretty steady. All right, we are inside, ready for a test drive. So there's the, uh, the gauges there. Basically they had volt gauge and a miles per hour, kilometer. Uh, over here, we have reverse, forward, neutral, uh, reverse, uh, headlamp, um, actually I don't know what that other switch does, heater, probably never use that as it's, I'm in Florida, and this is the, uh, the BMS, it's called the AMP BMS, so show me I'm at 70% power, right now I'm not drawing anything, and if I scroll up, you can see temperatures, and like I said, there's 24 cells in here. Here's all 24 cells, and my God, are they bounced, huh? That's some good stuff. All right, so when I turn this guy on, there is a disconnect down here. All right, so I'm gonna turn the key. Bam! Bam! No, 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 no! Just kidding. Uh. There's the mileage there, trying to zoom in. So it's 12.52. Uh, brake light's on. E-brake doesn't work. That's probably why. And right now, when I go to put in... Right now, actually, I want to show you it's drawing about 23 watts. Now, when I turn this on, you'll hear the solenoid turn on. Tick, click. All right. And now, we're pulling 80 watts. So if you're just sitting here with this thing in forward and all that, I mean, there's probably a lot of resistance because I haven't cleaned all the contacts yet. But, I mean, basically it's pulling, like, an amp just sitting here. So I don't like that. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on there, see if I can make that a little more efficient. But here we go. Ooh. And 
never moving. Now you can see how the bolt gauge will move and drop down. That is a, a smaller pack. I'm going to show you the battery pulling the juice. If I can. It's a little difficult while I'm in here. So when you actually go in reverse, you actually have to, now you hear the solenoids turn back off. Now go in reverse, you hear nothing. If I press it, nothing happens. You actually got to press this button here. Click. Now you can hear the relay. Reverse lights on. And now I can back up. Let's see if I can get the... Uh, so far, I've seen 280 amps out of this 350 amp controller. All right, stay tuned.